here we are on the beautiful French River in Northern Ontario. Uh, Tori and I are just enjoying this uh, beautiful campsite for the last few days. We are planning on paddling the rest of the French River all the way to Georgian Bay and then paddling along the Georgian Bay coast for a short stretch to head back up the French River on another channel to where our truck is parked at Hartley Bay. So we have another week on the water here. We're super excited about it. We think we have our uh, you know plans and strategies with for traveling with the kids pretty dialed in. Huddy just turned one. Wesley's four and of course Wesley has some disabilities that make things more challenging but he is having a blast out here and he's just he's really thriving which is so happy to see so yeah we are super pumped for this family journey it's going to be our longest uh, canoe trip to date by far as a full family with the introduction of Huddy uh, the weather has been incredible which you know this is early September it's not always like this in Northern Ontario so we are truly lucky and we're hoping to bang off about 17 clicks a day, depending on how the kids are handling things. Good morning! Good morning! Hey, it's a new day. We're in the French River. Okay, I'm gonna go for a little hike with Huddy to... Okay. Huddy's going for a hike with Mama. These are um, dehydrated raspberries that we add to Wesley's oatmeal. Um, apparently these aren't the ones we picked, but we did pick a whole bunch of raspberries from our property and uh, dehydrated them. So we have an awesome stash of wild raspberries that we picked ourselves. And then this is honey, locally sourced at Costco in Aurelia. So we are just about to load up the canoe and head on our way. We got some rapids to deal with. We might have to portage. We may be able to line, run, wade. We don't know. We'll see when we get there. Hoping to catch some fish today too. Um, primarily we're going for uh, some walleye or pickerel as we call them here in Canada. So super excited to uh, get some fish on the table and to continue this adventure. Here we go. Baird family out. Walk. 
this world to look at. Hedy, I think today's the hottest yeah. day yet. What do you think, Hud? How are you feeling, hun? Really? What uh, I, I want you to describe to me what you're feeling. Do you want me to paddle stern? And then you can just like kind of rest or whatever. You are worried you're having a heart attack. Really? What do you want to do? Paddle the woods, uh, pine lodge of Pine Cove, and get some help. Okay, hon? Okay, so why don't we pull over? Really? Okay, pull over here immediately then. Okay, hon, we need to pull over. No, if you're gonna faint, we need to pull over here. Well, um, so we have made it maybe a kilometer from our campsite and Jim is not feeling well. He is extremely lightheaded and feeling tingly hands and um, he thinks he has heat exhaustion. He needs to take a break. He was feeling extremely faint, like he was going to faint, which is pretty worrisome. Uh, so I forced him to pull over. Um, just so that we can wait it out and see what happens. We're kind of deciding if it's safe or makes sense to even continue the trip if he's feeling this way. Um, he said he doesn't feel pain in his chest, but a little bit of tightness when he breathes in really deeply. Can I get you anything? Oh, no, honey. Yeah. Well, it might make sense. Yeah. Let's just call it. What? We've worked so hard the last four weeks, you know, with all these people here. Maybe this is just too much. If you want to blame it on me, I'm okay with that. So why don't we paddle to like Lodge of Pine Cove or somewhere and figure out how to get to our vehicle, you know? Okay? Stay there. Stay sitting for a bit. I feel extremely, extremely lightheaded. Yeah. So I'm, I'm calling it, okay? Okay. It's just not safe. It's one thing if it's you and me, but we have both kids with us. Like, it's stupid. You know? Okay. Let's go stay with Alex for a night ah. at the Lodge of Pine Cove. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. See how we feel, and if I feel okay tomorrow, we continue on. Okay. Well, Tori has moved me to the bow. 
try to and put a support behind me. I don't know what's happening to me, but I feel like fainting, like I'm just extremely exhausted. But Tori's basically called it. She doesn't want us to go on. She's paddling in the stern. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paddle to a lodge that's probably about four or five kilometers away from here. See if they have a room, potentially. I'll go get medical attention. <sighs> and uh, if I see how I'm feeling tomorrow, Well, I'm feeling a little better. Tori was just gonna paddle us to a lodge, but then we actually missed Woosley Bay and discovered we were in the North Channel, AKA Tori was trying to rescue me and got sort of lost, but not really. And we had a bite to eat and I started feeling better. Tori's really worried about me because at least in this area there's road access and after the next portage there won't be for some time, but it seems that I've convinced her that I'm gonna survive. And I'm paddling. She's in the stern managing Hudson who's woken from a nap and who um, is a wee bit grumpy. So uh, she's got a steer and parent at the same time. It's no easy feat. But we, um, we paddled out of our way because we were going to try to stay at a lodge and then we got into some cell reception called they didn't have any availability. I started feeling better and then we're now we're just going back with our original plan more or less and hope all is well. So yeah, interesting chain of events here today, but uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay. I don't know what the hell came over me, some sort of weird heart attack or something. One of those weird heart attacks. So, Huddy, Wesley, and I are sitting uh, next to the first set of rapids of our trip, the Little Pine Rapids on the French River. Jim is going to line the boat down. Just like that. Ooh, huh, Heidi? <laughs> Huddy, Wesley, and I are once again sitting rapid side, um, waiting for Jim to navigate this set of rapids. This is Big Pine Rapids. He is planning on lining the first drop and 
holding the rest of it. It's really shallow and kind of rocky, so it's something that would be similar to what we did on the Bonaventure. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how he does. Huddy's barely holding on to his patience. Food. Food is a great distraction. Wesley, on the other hand, is being such a good little boy as usual. Hey, Happy. Hey, Happy. Hi, Wes. You're so sweet. <laughs> That's a net. Oh my goodness. Hello. <gasps> yeah! Woo! Absolute Dinner. beauty. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> nice. Hell yeah. Wow. Beauty, eh? Just a beauty. Yay! Good job, hon. Thank you. All right, we made it to camp, honey. Woo-hoo! Honey! Yeah! Fair family mission completed. What a day. Yeah. Action-packed day.
kind of cooler in the canyons were cooler in last night but I got um, some Cajun fish crisp in here with the uh, walleye fillets and cheeks and just added a bunch of air to this bag and I'm just giving it a giving the fillets a nice coat and throw them in the hot oil chef's kiss Can we pull out that jetty so I can try? Oh, what other song can I sing? I'll get you this fish first. Do you want yours like extra crispy? Extra crispy. How's that, hun? Look. Nice. Done? Like to keep, you know, the scoop in the out outer bag. So, um, what's his name? Oh, that's nice. pretty, uh, pretty stiff. Okay. So, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. Now that we're here and I have a beverage. Right. But still, like, what was happening to me? And then, and then after all that, it's like after packing up and it's so hot and I'm breaking. It's like, why? Why do any of this? Right? Yeah, but why? Sorry. But like this is why, right? This moment. Oh. That's too big. This is the pedestal. Here, fish. Bless. Hi, baby. Mm. You have to wash your whole body. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. I just want to eat it anyway. There's mosquitoes out here, Tori. There are mosquitoes. Well. Just finished up. Well, actually, I have a little more left, but mm, ate some delicious walleye. What a treat. Gorgeous campsite, and it's mosquito feeding hour. Bugs aren't usually so bad at this time of year in early September at all, but uh, the kids are getting eaten a little bit here, and um, we're gonna just take this chance to spray some muscal family and kids on them. Totally non-toxic when used as directed. Spray on hands and wipe on. So here we are on day five of our family French River adventure. Um, it's only day one of our filming for my YouTube channel. Today was an interesting day. It turned out okay, but for whatever reason, probably just from exhaustion, um, just a concussion that I, I gotten a few days earlier. Um, I was feeling extremely lightheaded. It was extremely weird. I felt like close to fainting, pins and needles in my hands. And uh, Tori started paddling me to like a lodge and we were gonna stay in a lodge um, and, uh, and then see how I felt tomorrow if we'd even continue. We, we might have to pull the ripcord on this. 
But as I just kind of sat there as Tori beast paddled this fully loaded 18 foot prospector, and actually it was probably for the best, but she actually missed the, the turn off to Woosley Bay and ended up going into uh, the North Channel of the French a little bit um, before we pulled over to grab a bite to eat and realized what was going on. But by that time I started feeling okay. I kept paddling and then I, I sucked up enough uh, energy to, um, you know, to line and uh, pull a couple of rapids, which was a blast, big pine and little pine. Uh, pike, I think, bit me off um, at the top of big pine, a big old pike. Um, you know, later on I managed to slam a nice size pickerel or walleye using uh, a Rapala um, minnow lure. I think they're the Husky Jerk, I believe. Awesome lure. Bam! Slam one, just doing a little troll. Beauty, beauty fish. Just cooked that up now and uh, ended up finding a great campsite. Make camp around five and it turned out to just be a beautiful day. It was hot, like unseasonably hot today, but uh, the evening was perfect. Took a much deserved swim. And I'm feeling a lot better. I'm gonna take it easy. Um, I feel like maybe a lot of sort of serious, serious exercise um, might be a little jarring for me right now. But uh, yeah, it was kind of a, getting a little scary, but managed to pull through thankfully. Um, kids had a great day. They're just thriving out here. It's amazing to see Wesley um, develop while he's out here and uh, Huddy as well, just from walking all over the uneven ground. His motor skills are improving like crazy. Um, challenging but you know it'd just be too easy without them and uh, this is my first actual trip canoe trip on the French River um, yeah my, I've been here on, on a lodge I've been motorboat camping on the French but I've never done a canoe trip on the French let alone pretty much the entire thing like we're doing now so super exciting and I'm like why haven't we done this it's so beautiful incredibly gorgeous fishing's good Camping is amazing, just all around awesome, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow has to bring.